Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less. Ah, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. The future is on rails. I couldn't figure out what that said. Some sort of radiation leak I don't know about. It. We have a very dapper outfit. Where exactly are we going? I ask the questions. <laughs> Okay, then, uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person, so just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. We are definitely a smartass. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find wanted to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always <laughs> said that. Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was 
concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. Yeah, I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. <laughs> For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. I I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> no, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. I forgot how little time we have to make your decision. <laughs> Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black Everything is he better. does, well, I love. Don't concern yourself with why. Okay, Jerry. Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So you might not have been in the loop. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. Because <laughs> I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. <laughs> it's destiny, Reese. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. Oh shit! You don't want to be that man. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. Is that this the guy who we were looking for? It's going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Ugh. Why do the uh. biggest scumbags always have the best view? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but... Do you want the money or not? Because I... 
L1 to activate Echo Eye. It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get. That's cool. Yes. Yeah, that's what we had before. Use your palm interface to access the file. Sweet. Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mom. Damn it. Oh, right. Uh, Look at our smug what grin. What talking about? <clears throat> Before we were so rudely interrupted. We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion? All oh, right, your uh, promotion. Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. You better get an eye installed at the back of your head. Because you, you never know when like, I could be creeping oh, come on. behind you. I'm your boss, Reese. Get used to that. I definitely wanted this to that. This is what I'm talking wanted about that when I say humility. To sound more badass than he came out with. That was lesson number two. <clears throat> Don't make lesson number three about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up. Gross. You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I back. need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Bob. They're finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash <coughs> cleanup, because that is your job now to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese? I should not have done why that. Why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Huh. Vesquez screwed me out of the promotion. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap. So does that mean you're not buying? Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. We're gonna ruin his career. How do you plan on doing that? Yeah. Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. A vault key? Uh-huh. And I'm sure he promised a die period. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is these vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a friggin' vault key! I mean, what are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. 
done. <laughs> Damn. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone. Call me if you don't get killed. Whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends to help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. <laughs> Fine. But you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion Town car. What? Sweet. Standard? Really? You can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... You're gonna steal something, I figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Yes. Did not see that coming. Person. Why would you cross right there? Oh, crap. I think we... I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Great, great, we murder. Relax, Vaughn. It's a skag. They breed like hostile rabbits down here. Still, it's kind of sad. Yeah. Kind of. Yikes. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. Let's just say Vasquez gave it to us to make the deal. It's easier that way. Yeah. I guess I wanted a cooler plan, but <laughs> I suppose that'll work. So, this looks... Not good. Uh, got ourselves a hero here! <sighs> what are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars chained to me is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. Just 
Just keep your eyes open for the place, okay? I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Yeah. And uh, watch the money. Oh, really? Listen, one tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. <laughs> Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You, me, a vet. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Don't think so small, my friend. We're not just gonna run Hyperion. We're gonna be responsible for plundering a vault. And you can count on two fingers the number of people who have even gotten close to that. Yeah. The tracker's beep beep beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem... normal-ish? Normal-ish enough? Anyway? I don't know. We can still just find it. I hate asking for help. We're on a very strict time limit here, Reese. If Vasquez comes down before we're finished... I mean, I, I don't even... Oh god. I don't want to get out of the car. Okay, I need to invert. That's better. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want this inverted. Do you know where the world of curiosities is? Uh... It should be around here. You lost. Um... What are you here for? Uh, why do you even care? Because you're driving your ass wagon all through my town. Kicking up earth, stirring up spider ants. And when the spider ants come, people get killed. Sorry, um, we didn't... You're Hyperion. You egg suckers ruined this town, you know that? Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. <sighs> okay. What's it gonna take, huh? How much? 20? 50? <laughs> It'd take a lot more than that. Hey, little man. What's in the case? No oh, shit. Hey, kitty cat. Show us what's in the case. I hope we brought our stun baton. <laughs> okay, now, look. Before we get all bent... <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bandits. That's you good. know what we got here? Reese. Do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! <sighs> Already? Really? Just... <laughs> Just give me the menu. Okay, but don't go bananas. These things ain't cheap. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Motor bot deployed. Time to clock in. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Or you're handing over your heads. Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this.
Ooh. Got him. Got quiet all of a sudden. Already. Please stop shooting me. Engaging target. See? Piece of cake. I messed it up. Well, now I know why these cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, Loaderbot! Go get the car! Stop! Thieves! Maybe I didn't, you know, technically die, but I could have. That's funny. I like how they do that. Die now! Maybe you punch him with your robot arm? Just saying. <laughs> Interesting. to do it.
you do with Bond? What the hell should I know? Your freaking bot tossed us both out. Now kindly stand still and die. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That was so cool. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow. Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. Sure thing. Nice. Bandits. Imminent. Please do something! Weapon subsystem requires your attention. All right. We'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna be cool. Circumstances analyzed. Reese, just tell it to run. Self-destruct option. Ow. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Okay, good. Hopefully that helps us later on. I will name my firstborn Loaderbot. Oh, you know. Probably not. I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... That was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys... A lot of those guys... It is. That's a bit better. <sighs> Well, I guess that's the lighting was a little bit bright in here. Keep me going. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Get the hell out of <laughs> that's here. That's not creepy at all. Bully mom. Don't want to have to fight Ugh, that thing. Does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? All right, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing. But this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world-famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Mm. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Oh, not to 
be confused with his brother Boom was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? <laughs> Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. It looks not like an old lady. Least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! <laughs> no witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steele. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. Ooh. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? I'm liking these stories. Oh. It's locked. Oh, come on. Are you serious? This feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Wow, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Um, wasn't there a body there? The one I thought looked like an old lady? <laughs> yep, knew it. How are you? Not great! Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> Why are you pretending to be dead? What? <laughs> dead? No, 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 no. Asleep, maybe. Dead. That's your. You're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> what? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show. So Thanks. I. Thanks. I'm Shade. And this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat. I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take Gross. a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure, sure. Why didn't you say so, huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. I figured you want to take the tour, maybe get here a little early. Early? Are you kidding me? You think I like being here? You think this is fun? <laughs> Have you seen the bathroom yet? Every minute in this horror factory is like an hour. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. He looks like a badass. He's, uh, 
Is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> he was just the go-between, the middleman. The puppet, the pigeon. Stop. I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well, I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. So, what's your name? Just so we're on uh, equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Show him the money, Vaughn. No problem. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's all the passwords on this thing. What's the problem? It's not a problem. It's a security thing. Just give him a second. Maybe this will give you some incentive to hurry it up. See anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State of the art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so the way I uh, usually do these things is. Wait! What? I. Oh, I just don't like it. I got a. I got a feeling. What feeling? Look! You said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. I get intuitions about this stuff. We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key. From me. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that! And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. Oops. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I... You're making a big mistake. This money we're offering is life-changing. And it's right here. I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, you're not like those assholes. In fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Well, just wait. Just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think. No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird, if you ha have a feeling about things... No, 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 I was wrong. We should definitely do it. Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem, let's just... No, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really. No. I made up my mind. Way oh, to go, wait. Sasha. Freeze! This is your department. Do something. Oh god. August. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? Uh, this... 
This is it. You can't see that one day, maybe ten years from now, maybe ten months, maybe tomorrow, you're gonna think back on right now and scream to the stars for mercy of death just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the throat? What if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? What if I had won? <laughs> I am a winner, Reese. I am a winner! <laughs> well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It Ooh, I like is a boots. nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! Oh, that sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first. You kidnapped me hours ago. <laughs> I guess I could have. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive bombing me for the last. Oh, okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, go on. I can't wait. That psycho gang lord guy made his big stupid entrance. It's mine! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Oh, good. Wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking I love too long. that. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Iberian stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Oh shit, I missed it! Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. Hey! You're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, 
But you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. You can count on me, Felix. I know. It's just nice to hear it out loud sometimes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Ooh. purple skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. <laughs> Got it. She seems pretty cool. Guess we're going this way. <laughs> You get it all out. I guess. Hey, we look good in our wanted poster. A hollow point where art and culture flourish. Enough of this stabbing. Piss <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, I'll be taking that. <laughs> Sorry, girls gotta eat. Also, you're dead anyways. Sorry, dude. Classy place. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIP's only. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Does a hundred bucks mean we can skip all this? Well, sure, that works. <laughs> Alex took that money now. Texter. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. I can't believe that worked. I can't either. Let's take all these down. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends, you're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. 
You contacted me and we met at Pyro Pete's just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. Yeah, sure. It's a lot, I know. Yeah, Sasha, I got it. This isn't my first rodeo. Good. Good. That's a relief. <laughs> Archaeologist. Tom, Eden 6. Originally from Eden 5. I've known your family a real long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. Now you say hi to the missus. Okay. Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor. Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home. Thanks again. Yikes. August? Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. It's Lydia, right? Strauss, Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted, which is the only reason I'm willing to do a deal. I don't remember what my actual name know. was. No! No! Please, please, Hawkins! Please, I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay! You are. The little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. On bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Give out on his tab. Yeah, something like that. Did he think that was us that got shot? Nice place you got here. Uh, yeah. Does the job. Breaks about even, which is about the most I can ask. Have a seat. Now I'm nervous about my story. So, how long have you been in? Archaeologist. Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt. I've been doing it a couple of years. Must be tough. Being away from friends. Friends like Sasha. It can be tough, but it's rewarding work. If all this goes as planned, you'll see just how rewarding it can be. That's interesting. He seemed more like a moron last time. Where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place, says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> it most certainly is. Thanks, hon. All right. Let's have a look. Of course. See with your eyes, August. Your friend here is making me nervous. She's helping you out, August. How do you figure? You never heard of iridium poisoning? Can't say I have. Well, she's saving you from a couple of hours of puking your guts out. Ah. Well, then, thanks for that. But just say something sooner next time. I'll call up Vasquez. He's been chomping at the bit for this thing. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. 
What I know is I gotta move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. These Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect a nervous, mm -hmm. small-time Pandoran fuck, so I give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. No, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. I ain't that guy. I'm trying to do you a solid here. So why don't we just steal the money from these Hyperion guys and keep the key? Vault hunting's a dangerous business. There aren't too many people interested in keys that are willing to pay. Better to get the quick money. That makes sense. In and out. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. Okay, so the dumb guy act was... Right. Sasha will act? hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. Well, that went well. Follow in the caravan. Alright, I have to stop there. Um, this game is going to be a lot of fun. I can already tell I'm going to love it. I like that we're jumping back and forth between the stories of two different people. Um, I think that's going to be really cool because I have a feeling we'll continue to see different sides of the events, which I always love. Um, I love when the stories come together and when you just see the bigger picture piece by piece. Uh, so I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So far, I'm okay with the decisions I've made. There have been a few where I... The option I chose wasn't exactly what I had in mind, which is kind of the difficult thing with this type of game. Um, in your head, what you're choosing is one thing, but then when it actually plays out, it's something totally different. So that will definitely take some getting used to. But overall, I'm pretty proud of the choices I've made. Um, let me know if you made different choices in the comments below and if anything was different for you because of those choices. Uh, I'm always curious to see how different choices affect outcomes of the different scenarios. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one, and as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day.